Okay, I want a list of days for the entire year. So I'll go to cell A2 and enter a starting date of 1 1 2010. And then I'll go to the Home tab on the ribbon, over to Editing, click the Fill handle next to the Fill button, and click on Series to bring up the Series dialog box. Um, the series needs to be in columns then the type is recognized as date and the date unit is recognized as day. Stop value is going to be 12, 31, 2010. Click OK. And if I use the control down arrow, you can see it's generated a list of days for the entire year. Now, if I want to do this for, say, weekdays, I'll go to cell B2, control right to copy that January date. And I'll use a different shortcut here, which is the mouse on the fill handle and with the right mouse button I'll click and drag down back up and that will give me the series option on the pop-up menu which brings up the series dialog box again clicking on columns type is date date unit is going to be weekday stop value is going to be 12 31 2010 click OK now you can see that apparently Monday or yeah, Friday was the January 1st. Monday was January 4th. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th was a Friday. Skips to Monday on the 11th, and all the way down to 12:31, which is a Friday. Now, if I want to do um, week, I'll select let's say Monday dates. I will select Monday. Copy that over there and we'll enter a series in columns based on a step value of seven days ending on 12 31 2010 click OK now you can see every week I've generated a day and the last day is not 12 31 but 12 27 which is a Monday now if I want to do months, I can do the month beginning, but it's much cooler to use the end of the month as a date. And then fill the series um, in columns. Step values 1. We're going to change the date unit to month. Stop value is going to be 12, 31, 2010. So I'll get a list of dates that lists the end of the month for each month of the year.